Is, is he... Does he have any... I, I guess inside scoop might be a bad way to put it, but does he have any insight on some of their personnel that you might not get just from watching film? Uh, you know, we talk smack to each other all the time, you know. We're adults around here, so we can really give each other some flack and have at it with each other. So we kind of do the same with their teammates, but, I mean, it's not like we're talking anything bad about those guys. So we're just having fun. Uh, getting ready and prepared for this game. Uh, you know, ask any other college, go to any college in the country, they're probably saying the same thing about everybody else. So, right, right. Um, you know, he, he's not really giving us insight on uh, people. He's just really uh, talking crap. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you decided to come back, is this the kind of season that you hoped for and envisioned that you guys could have at least this point? Uh, so far, yes. Uh, season's not over. You know, we still got a long way to go. Still got, uh, feels like a lot of games left. Uh, but, you know, uh, so far, so good. Uh, I feel pretty confident. I feel like I'm having a decent season personally, and I feel like the team's having a great season, even though uh, it's a brand new system. And it's, it, we're just getting started. We're just getting comfortable with it. Uh, we're just starting to get to a place where we all start to really understand what everybody's assignment supposed to be and what we need to do. So, um, you know, I feel confident. I feel like this is, coming back has been the, a great decision. Yeah. We first got here and they said, all right, by the time you leave, you're going to be playing LSU. And you're going to be the favorite team in the, in the matchup. I mean, that's got to be that's quite a, that's quite a growth uh, of a program. Well, I didn't know I didn't know we were the favorite, so <laughs> um, that's news to me because we've always been the underdogs ever since I've been here, and I've always liked it that way. Um, I still look at every game that way. You know, a lot of the games we play, we never really had the respect we've been given. I mean, even after the Florida game, we still didn't get our respect. So, um, you know, I think that's still the mindset of a lot of people in the country. And I feel like I'm going like, to keep that uh, on our shoulders. I know the linemen are going to, too. Uh, and just keep going out there and showing what we do. How, how does the offense, what do you all have to do to, to crank it up a, a few notches to kind of take that next that next step? Um, just focus on details, hammer out details. Um, a lot of small things, especially with uh, Coach Cohen's offense. Um, you know, everything has a purpose, every little intricate step, every minute block every everything has its purpose and uh, you know if one thing's out of whack it kind of throws a lot of it off so um, you know we're just going to be focused on working working those out getting it right getting ready and uh, continue being physical you know that's what we do up front online and showing everybody uh, you know we got fighting us too we got we got some dog you know that's what we keep doing speaking of blocks we're speaking of blocks here loved it <laughs> loved it you know at that, at that point i was really tempted to Throw him some knee braces, you know. <laughs> and let him let him come with the O line for a little bit, but you know, I, I, I loved it. I loved the energy. I loved the juice. I mean, all week we were talking about, you know, getting just getting out there and uh, the smoke getting out there with speed and cracking that guy. So he finally did it. So <laughs> it was good to see. I mean, honestly, during the game I didn't notice, but watching film, I was I was like, eh, okay, okay, smoke. <laughs> what jumped out at you when you put the LSU film on to start prep? Um, you know, generally just like always watching film, always that first day of really breaking out a new opponent, you're like, okay, well, what are we going to do here? Uh, you know, um, it's like, all right, they got big guys, you know, they got speed, they got size, their defense looks, looks pretty good. But after continually watching film, continually watching the defense, um, you start noticing things, it starts really slowing down for you. Um, but one thing that jumped out to me was their size. Uh, their size up front and they can move pretty well um, so I feel like you know just hammering all week is just a good hand placement good head placement um, you know really just getting on a guy and staying on them uh, their backs have good speed their uh, linebackers have really good speed and just making sure we're in position uh, you know wherever we need to be yeah, coach Stoops talks all the time about staying humble mm. you guys are five and oh realistically how difficult is it to stay humble when you're undefeated it's not. I mean, it's it, it's every game. Every game can go either way. You know, it's never just like a oh, we're gonna go out there and steamroll team. You know, um, you know, some one bad play can you know change the whole momentum of it. You know, that block field goal turned for a touchdown that changed the whole game. Um, you know, it could have been a different story if they uh, made the field goal and then marched down and scored or something. So. Um, it's not very hard uh, for me personally to sit back and say, you know, like, we still got work we got to do. We're not perfect. Uh, you know, we're not like, the, we're not the best team. We're not ranked number one. We're not, we don't have, you know, 
guys who can literally run four fours who are 330. Now, we're not the best, uh, so we have a lot, to, a lot of room to grow, a lot of room to work, and we still got to just keep our heads down and keep going. Do you think that's the general mindset of the team? I mean, this yeah. week, people have been getting a lot of pats on the back, I'm sure. Uh, one thing that coach has told us, uh, pats on the back can turn to uh, boost behind your back, basically. Uh, uh, real quick, you know, especially if uh, one bad thing happens or uh, certain things happen. Like even with uh, some of the games where we had a lot of fumbles, you know, even though we won, people were still saying, I oh, shouldn't have won. I thought so many turnovers. What's Kentucky doing with all the turnovers? People were talking all this and that. I mean, even though we won, you know. Um, so, you know, we'll take it, but it's, it's not like we're going to be happy about it, you know.